So we're all here at Street Fest 2021. We're here having a good time around other people for the first time in a while. Yeah. And uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us what you're here to promote, man. Okay. My name is Gary Casper. I'm here to promote Redwood Massacre Annihilation. And uh, we shot this film over in Scotland two years ago. We were supposed to be having all this stuff happening this last year, well, and yeah. we couldn't do it. We were supposed right. to be over in London promoting and everything else. But it has Daniel Harris in it. It's got Damian Puckler. It's got John Camplin. It's got Tebby Pope. And uh, I play a character named Gus. And I'm the big guy with the big guns and the big jacket. And we're hunting <laughs> this thing down. And it's a film. We're up in the highlands of Scotland. And we're hunting this burlap mask maniac killer. And uh, It's a good we, poster. And we became <laughs> the hunted, you know, on this one here. And then we're also, we shot over there in a most bizarre location. You show up and, and it's, um, it is a, just a sheep farm. Just a, a okay. normal sheep running around everywhere. But down below there's just miles of tunnels. And it was from World War II into the Cold War. Wow. And, all, and this is where we shot a lot of the film also. So it was like stalking this thing there. It, it, was, it was terrifying. Just You didn't have to act. You just react, you know, because it, it was great. I mean, I don't know how anybody feels about woo-woo nonsense, but like, did you, did you feel like a weird energy there, given that yeah. it was like World War II stuff? Yeah, you know, and the, the government had taken out all the electrical wires because they didn't want anybody to know what they were actually doing there, what they were spying on Russia and everything else. Okay. And then the guy who bought this thing, he rewired it for all the lights and, and the air conditioning, all this stuff. And, and, uh, and so, yeah, it was an amazing location. It, it, was, right it was cold, but it was cool, man. Yeah, yeah like I, I shot in this place called Linda Vista Hospital one time. It was an overnight shoot. You felt spirits there, bro. It was like I, I'm not gonna say that, like I saw ghosts doing things. Yeah. But I'm gonna tell you, anytime I was near the kitchen, yeah, my body was trying everything it could to get me the fuck out of the kitchen. You know what I mean? Yo, hey, listen, <laughs> we were shooting up there in uh, uh, Tonopah in a clown motel, and next to yes, it is a cemetery. Motel. Holy smokes, man! We went out there at night. We saw these girls out there with this energy box, and it was like going, get, get out, get, get out, and all these different things. So we're like, is this real? And, and we're there, and man, it was the closest I've ever come to kind of going, wow, man, that's, this is, let's back our way out of here. This is scary, yeah. Right on, man. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with your evening right after I ask you, what do you think is the craziest movie you've ever seen is? You know, that's a great question i wish i had a great answer for you man i'm going to tell you a quick story and then i'll add to that the okay. movie so when i was growing up i the zodiac killer was popular okay and so i was a little kid and i made my own zodiac killer outfit and i was i, I never made it out the door everybody asked me what was your best halloween costume and i said the zodiac killer but my mom didn't let me leave in that costume <laughs> I, I got to the door and she's like what are you're not going out like that a hood on and the little Zodiac, and it was like, and so I had to take it all off and be a clown. So I just thought I would tell you my, my favorite Halloween costume awesome, that dude. never made it. Hey, movie-wise, wow, man. You know, it, it's kind of typical. I thought Apocalypse Now, I know that's not a horror film. No, that's a really crazy movie. It doesn't have to be a horror. It was like, filmed, really you know, and, and he played the river backwards. The, the movie was moving backwards, and so Coppola doing something like that was so cool. But I'm trying to think of... Uh, a horror film that you know. I, well, okay. So since you said Apocalypse Now, like, like, have you seen both the original and the Redux? Yes. Okay. So the first time I saw it, I saw the Redux. Oh wow! And I really enjoyed it, and yes. I was really affected. Yes. And then when I started seeing people talk about how much they hated the Redux, I didn't understand it, and and they were talking about how all this unnecessary footage was added, but all of that footage is what I remembered about the yes. movie. But then when I finally saw the original cut, I was like, "You understood. This is a better movie. Yeah. I'm not gonna be mad at that. Yeah. But that extra content adds to the character. Yes. Yeah. Like right? Like yes. You know, but they had the girls that were dancers and the right? crash plane yeah. with the French corridor and all that kind of stuff added to that. That was cut out. Of you get it. way more Larry Fishburne. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right on, man. Buddy. Well, thank you so much for talking. All to right, me. you guys. All right. Stay scared. All right, man. <laughs> all right. Well, I, I got a little bit of a podcast, you know, if you want to have a conversation longer than like the three minutes we just had. Oh, that'd be great. Are you located in L.A.? I'm in Gardena, but yeah, okay. I'm L.A. local, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're local. Good. I'm in Igora. So, yeah. Oh, right on. There you go. You guys oh, here. absolutely. Get in, get in here. <laughs> wow. Oh, she's, she's, she's hanging out. There we go. Hey, have you guys done Shriek Fest before? Yeah, I've been mean, 
the hell is it turn up for the films? I mean, what oh can we... Oh my god, it's honestly, the best like, festival I've ever been to. No joke. No, a lot of people? No. A lot of people, but the, the, a lot of people, but what you'll see is the Homeboy vibe is... works at the company that owns the Halloween franchise, okay? Like, he's, he's been to festivals. He knows what festival crowds uh, are like. Yeah. Hey, so, so 10 o'clock Saturday night, are we going to have a big turnout for... Uh, yes. Halloween? Yes. Should be good? Yes. You got the prime spot. Oh, Set, nice. The, the sat, Saturday last movie, prime spot. Oh, good, yeah. good. Oh, beautiful, you guys. Yeah, good. you did, no you idea. did. No, it is. Go yeah. Oh, good, good, excellent. All right, I'm looking hey, forward hey, to it, man. Thank you so much. I'll man. be there.